Okay, we're putting the, the full block together now. And so your top and bottom are basically the same. Just watch the orientation of the half square triangle. When you're sewing down, again, your quarter of an inch, be careful when you come here. If you bring it in and it sews like that, you're not gonna get a sharp point. And if you're coming like this, you're actually gonna get a blunt point that's too big and it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew this. Again, I use my stiletto to hold everything. It really just helps keep it accurate. So when we're getting to the center part, to keep these star points, if we're putting this on here, we're gonna be putting this unit here. If we go this way, we can't see the points. So you're going to work from this side. Now I'm gonna show you two things. One, I'm gonna show you using the seam align glue. Okay, I have to show you that way. The seam align glue. When I did that, I put a point here. Let me show you on this side. I put a glue here, a t here, 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 and here. Now, I've already pressed this down. On the other end, I'm gonna show you if you're using pins. When you're sewing down here, your quarter of an inch, remember I showed you before with an X on the flying geese. Here you don't have the X, but you have the point of the intersection here where you can see the very distinct color of where you have to go. Your, your seam has to hit one thread into the seam allowance from that point. So you would be sewing down here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sew this with the glue to show you this and then I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna show you how to pin it. If you have to make a quick adjustment, oops, I got a little short there. I'll have to go back and fix that. If you get a little short, um, you're, it's not quite a quarter of an inch there at the point. Just veer out a little bit to make it hit properly. Of course, you can always go back and adjust it as you need to. I'm gonna cut these things. Those are ready. So you can see my points here. You're gonna be a quarter of an inch from that point. All of these seams are going to be pressed open. Now you can see here, I moved a little bit and I didn't quite hit that point, but when it's pressed open, I think it's gonna be fine. Eh, maybe not. I'm gonna go back in and correct that after we're done. But if you're using pins, same thing. You still need to pin from the other side. So what you're gonna do, and because we've pressed these the way they're pressed, you're gonna take a pin and you're gonna stick a pin right here at this intersection. Now that has to line up to this intersection here. I'm gonna take this out and show you a little bit easier. When you line up your ends, when you flip this down, when you flip this down, see how those line up, the yellows? So I know it's a little hard to see, but you're going to put your pin right in here and it's gonna come at that back intersection or that seam that you had. So put your corner in, put it all the way. This is the point that a lot of people do where they make what I think is, is the, the mistake. They simply pull this down and pin it that way. Well, if you do that, then you are, you're moving that seam. So put this all the way through then put a pin behind it and in front of it and take that out. I do not leave that pin in there. I think, I feel for me at least, it makes it harder for me to keep accuracy. So you can see for me, I'm, I'm fairly slow with doing the pinning. Glue works a lot faster, but if you don't have it, that's not a big deal. See how I'm matching those up? Now I'm gonna try this one without putting that pin in the center. And we're gonna see which one works best. Now we're going through a lot of fabric here. 
So you want to make sure you have sharp pins. Now see this area right here? Now, this is just fabric. It can be manipulated a little bit. You can stick a pin in here. Sometimes you can just apply a little bit of heat. When you apply heat, that'll, that'll push it down into place, sort of um, fuse those fibers together. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew this, and you're gonna come in and you're gonna take your pins. Now, I'm using the stiletto because I want you to be able to see without my hand in the way. As you're coming, notice where the pin is. I'm not gonna take the pin out until it's just about to uh, underneath the foot. That's gonna keep that fabric in place so it does not shift. I don't know if you can see this here, but I'm gonna stitch one thread past the intersection there. This is when I need to make myself ambidextrous and be able to pin the other direction for you to show you. So when you're coming out here, I always, again, that stiletto to make sure that it doesn't get crazy out of place, putting my two pieces together. Sew this off. We're gonna hold my tongue just right again, like I said, and see if either of these are right on. We know that this one's off a little bit. And how about this one? Pretty darn good. So we're gonna press this seam open because we it's just gonna be a lot easier when we go to put everything together. You're gonna to take this piece that we've just sewn and pressed, and after we have put the other half square triangle on, it's gonna be there, and we're gonna have our full block. When you do this, you're gonna do the same thing, work from this way, but you're also gonna have that intersection that you need to make work. Okay, good luck.